The pressure to build much needed housing has led people in one Sussex community to say they simply can't cope with the thousands of new homes being planned. Government body Homes England is consulting on plans for 3,000 new builds at Ifield near Crawley. But campaigners opposed to the scheme say local green spaces are also being threatened by a new centre parks complex and proposals for a second runway at Gatwick Airport. Here's our environment correspondent, Yvette Austin. This is a vision for the transformation of a large greenfield area near Crawley. Homes England, the government's housing agency, wants to create three new communities here west of Ifield Village, which could see the building of 10,000 new homes. There's strong opposition. 1891 map, Ifield is a tiny village here, Crawley is over here. We are surrounded by farmland all the way round. Here is the blue and the purple is the area where there is potential development of 10,000 houses on the agricultural land. And you're putting about, a, increasing the town by about 25,000 people. The first phase would be for 3,000 homes here on the edge of Ifield Village. We are going to have a concrete jungle and we're losing our only direct access to the countryside within Crawley, which is used widely by our local population for exercise, jogging, recreation. Homes England says the development would come with social, health and transport infrastructure. We have a long-term commitment to creating new neighbourhoods and great places to live, investing early in infrastructure with a track record in delivery. But not all are convinced. Well, I've spent five years talking to Homes England and what they're saying today is exactly what they were saying five years ago when we are saying we needed this in black and white. The problem is they'll consistently say that they'll aim for things and they'll aspire for things, but aspiration isn't going to be enough when you're talking about a development this scale. People need certainty and that we're going to have housing that local people can actually afford to live in. In Crawley Town Centre, views are mixed. Especially if it's near the farming area or village, I think they shouldn't. They need to be affordable for the kids, though, nowadays, don't they? And they're not affordable, I don't think. There are so many people in Crawley. There's, there's so many people in the UK that need homes. So by expanding, it's going to make it a bit easier for everyone. But there are wider concerns, too, for the area, with the potential of a new runway at Gatwick and threats to other green spaces. Centre Parks has earmarked this 550-acre spot to the southeast of Crawley, much of it ancient woodland, as a potential site for a new resort. There could be 900 lodges, restaurants, shops and a spa if it goes ahead. If we see all these kind of developments going on, you know, the 3,000 homes, the, 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 the runway being developed, Centre Parks coming to Sussex, you'll see the whole character of that area completely changing. You know, we're going to be moving from a rural county to actually quite a heavily urbanised county. And do people want that? It's all a familiar tale of new development versus the countryside. Well, Yvette is live for us in Ifield this evening. Hello, Yvette. Is this the start of a, a big campaign? It feels that way. Yes, I think quite potentially people in Ifield especially aren't happy. They've been seeing these Homes England signs spring up around the village in the open spaces where they walk their dogs. They say, keep your dogs on a lead, keep to the public rights of way. And people are seeing these as quite aggressive. I'm told some have even been ripped up. People have also been to the Homes England exhibitions last week looking at the proposals. And people are saying that what they're seeing, the images, are quite shocking. Now they say there are many unanswered questions about this proposed development. They're worried about GP provisions, schools, water supply, sewage treatment and they say it's all on a floodplain. Now this whole homes plan is also being dealt with by Horsham Council and so it's the Horsham planners that deal with it not the Crawley Pack planners which will stand to be perhaps more affected than Horsham. Thank you.